This video will look at negative numbers. We're learning to use negative numbers. And what I'm looking for is for us to understand accurately how to add and subtract negative numbers. Okay, here we have our number line. We have lots of numbers that need arranging. We have zero right in the center. Going to the right of zero is all our positive numbers. So just think of your usual number lines. You've got your one, two, three, four, five, six. Whereas if I go left of my number line, I'm into my negative numbers. So we've got negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and negative six. And they would continue on to the left, whereas my positive numbers continue up to the right. Let's look at a few questions now. So again, I've got my number line, zero in the center. Positive numbers to the right, which will continue on forever. Same going to the left, we have negative numbers going on forever. And let's have a look at the questions then below this white box. So question one. We have six and we're taking away nine. So we're on six, and we're counting back nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My answer would be negative three, minus three. My question number two then. All right, before we begin question two, let me take away this writing so we don't get confused. I'll put my answer back in. So question three. We are starting on minus 3, or negative 3, and we're going up 5, we're adding 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my answer then is 2. My next question, question 3, we are on minus 1, or negative 1, and we're adding, sorry, we're subtracting 3. 1, 2, 3. So I finish up on negative four or minus four okay i'd like you to do the next four questions so you can pause your video and work out your answer and come back and we'll check right let's check the answers then number four we're on three and we're subtracting six. One, two, three, four, five, six. puts us on negative three or minus three. Number five, we are on negative six, minus six, and we're adding 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we finish on four. And our last question, we're on zero and we're taking away four. Well, that's pretty easy. You're just going back four, so you're going to finish on minus four or negative four. In this number line, we're counting up in tens. We have our zero in the center. Again, to the right of it, we've got our positive numbers. So we've got our usual 10, 20, 30, 40. Just going up in tens. To the left of it, we have our negative numbers. So we've got our minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, and minus or negative 40. Using our number line, Let's see if we can position some numbers within that number line. And remember that we're moving in tens. So let's sort out these numbers. Our negative 5 or minus 5 would fall in here, right between the minus 10 and 0. 28 we would have up here, quite close to 30. 15 would fall right in between 10 and 20. Minus 39 or negative 39 would be quite close to the negative 40. So it's down in descent. Positive 39 would be up at the other end next to 40. Minus 21 or negative 21 quite close to the minus 20. And your last number and our minus 35 then would fall down in between minus 30 and 40, minus 35. 
Okay, using our number line where we're moving in tens, let's see if we can answer these questions. Number one, it is 10 and we're taking away 50. So we're on 10 and we're subtracting 50. Remember, counting back in tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we finish down on negative or minus 40. Number two, we are on minus 30 and we're adding 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We finish up on 30. And number 3, we are on 10. Sorry, we're on minus 10 or negative 10. And we're taking away 20 more. 10, 20. So we finish down on minus or negative 30. Alright, I'd like you to do the next three questions on a piece of paper. Pause your video and come back and we'll check the working out and see if we get the right answer. Number four then. So it is 10 and we're subtracting 20. Subtract 10, subtract 20. So we finish up on minus 10 or negative 10. Number two. Sorry, number five. We're on zero and we're taking away 30. 10, 20, 30. So you finish up on that negative 30 or minus 30. And your final one, number six, we're starting on negative 20 and we're adding 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we finish on 30. Okay, as you can see on this slide, there are a lot of blank spaces with a lot of questions. I would like you to copy and complete the number line, put in all the blank numbers, and then complete the eight questions below. You can pause your video and then come back to check your answers. Let's begin by completing the number line. So we'll work to the right of the number zero. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. To the left of the number zero is where our negative numbers are. So we've got negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five, and negative six. Now we can do the questions. So we're looking at number one. We're on six, positive six, and we're taking away 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Puts me down on negative four or minus four. Number two, we're on four and we're taking away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We finish down on minus or negative three. Number three, we're on negative three and we're adding nine. If I add on three, I get to zero, and I've got still got six more to add on, which brings me up to six. Number four, we're starting on zero, and we're taking away three. So just jump down three, bring us to negative three. Number five, we're starting on two, and we're taking away seven. If I take away two, it puts me on zero, and I still have five more to take away to bring me up to seven. So I finish down on negative 5. Number 6, we start on negative 5 and we have to add on 10. If I add on 5, it brings me to 0. And I add on another 5, it brings me up to 5. Number 7, starting on negative 1 and we have to add on 5. If I add on 1, it brings me to 0. I still need to add on 4 more to make 5 in total which brings me up to four. And our last question, let's see if you got eight out of eight. We are on two and we're taking away six. If I take away two, it puts me on zero and I still need to take away four more, which moves me down to negative four. Okay, what is each of the arrows pointing to? What is their value? Remember, the number line is going in tens Count very carefully and read your number line accurately. You can pause your video, work out the answers and come back to check. Right, 
Well, let's begin with A. If we know we have negative 10 here, we've got negative 11, negative 12, negative 13, negative 14, negative 15. Negative 16 then is where A is at. Let's move over to B. We've got zero here, positive numbers to the right, negative to the left. So this is just the first one. So it's a negative one. Let's move to the number that is represented by C. So again, we're going, starting from zero, move to the right to the positive numbers, and we're up two places, so it is just the number two. Let's move on to D, close to negative 10, so we're going to count down to our left, negative 11, negative 12, negative 13 for D. Let's move to E, so we are on 0 here, and we move to our right for positive numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for E. And our final one, we've got the letter F quite close to negative 10 but if we go to the right we're getting positive so negative 9 negative 8 on this slide we have four sets of numbers that we need to place in order starting with the lowest number all right let's begin with the set in the top left so we've got negative 4 negative 14 negative 10 and negative 3 we need to start with the lowest number. So it's the, the number that's furthest from zero. So our lowest number in this set would be our negative 14 or minus 14. Then negative 10, negative 4, and then negative 3. Let's look at the set below it in the bottom left. So we've got minus 2, negative 2, minus 12, minus 5, and 3. So again, think of the number that is furthest from zero, because that's our lowest value. In this case, it is the negative 12, then negative 5, negative 2, and then 3. Right, I'd like you to sort the last two sets. Remember, start with the lowest number first. You can pause your video. Let's begin with the set of numbers in the top right. So the number that is the lowest going to the left of zero would be our minus two or negative two, then zero, one, and three. And the final set of numbers going to the left, the furthest from zero is our minus 12, negative 12, negative 10, negative six, and then it's a seven. How much has each child? So Paul has 30 pounds, but he owes 50. So that is basically telling us that we have 30 and we're taking away 50. If I were to carry out that sum, if I take away 30, puts me on zero and I still have to take away another 20 to bring me up to 50 altogether. So he would have minus or negative 20 pounds. Jack has 17 pounds, but he owes 23. So the sum is telling us that Jack starts with 17 and we take away 23. Well, if I take away 17, it puts me on zero, but I still have six more to take away to bring me up to 23. So he will finish up on minus six or negative six. Lucy then, she has 26 pounds, but she owes 34. So that sum is 26 and we're taking away 34. Well, if I take away 26, it puts me on zero, but I still need to take away a further eight because 26 plus the eight brings me up to 34. So zero and I count back a further eight brings me down to minus eight or negative eight. Amy has 53 pounds, but she owes 68. So from 53, we're taking away 68. Well, for 53, take away 53, put you on zero, but you still need to take away 15 more because 15 and a 53 bring you up to 68. So zero, take away the 15, put you down to minus 15. Write greater than or less than in the box. 
So, with these symbols, if you try to remember that the big opening goes to the big number and the little point goes to the little number. Hopefully that will make it a lot easier to complete the question successfully. So my first one, minus 4, negative 4 is greater than minus 7, negative 7. Because my minus 4, it's closer to 0. It's bigger than the negative 7. Number two, minus three is the bigger of the two numbers. So my answer would read negative six is less than negative three. Next one, 0 0.5 is greater than minus 0 0.7 or negative 0 0.7 because this is a positive number. So obviously it's going to be the bigger of the two when the other one's negative. Next question, put in my symbol and now it reads negative 2 is less than 1. Next question, now it reads negative 5 is less than 0 0.5. And my final question, uh, with the symbol it now reads negative 0 0.5 is greater than negative 2. And this slide shows most commonly where we would encounter negative or minus numbers. Temperature. So the temperature was 5 degrees, it fell by 5 degrees. So if it was 5 degrees and it fell by 5 degrees, well the temperature would now be down on 0. Let's complete the number line with temperatures so we understand this a little bit more. So we have 3 degrees, 4 degrees, 5 degrees, 6 degrees, we're getting hotter, 7 degrees, and 8 degrees is where it finishes on our little thermometer. And going to the other side of 0, we've got our negative 1 or minus 1 degree, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, getting even colder in temperature, and minus 5 degrees. Right, let's look at the two questions then. First one. So we know that our temperature was 0 degrees. So it was 0 degrees and it rises by 2. So 0 degrees and we know it's going up 2. So our new temperature is 2 degrees. So for the next question, the temperature was, oops, was 2 degrees and it falls by 9. So we have to take away 9 from 2 degrees. Well, if I take away 2, it puts me on to 0. And I still need to take away a seven, 7 more degrees. So I'm going to finish down on negative minus 7 degrees, degrees Celsius. 